Hello. Hello and welcome to the Workflow Academy. In this comprehensive Platform Academy video series, we'll dive into the transformative world of workflow automation, empowering you to build, monitor, and optimize efficient workflows with ease. Join us as we explore the core tools of ServiceNow's workflow automation suite to build flows and subflows, playbooks, and decision tables on the Now platform. My name is Lisa Hohenstein, and I work as an outbound product manager for the Now platform. My area of expertise is workflow automation, and I create enablement content, videos, articles, and blogs on the Now community. I have been with ServiceNow for over five years, and I have been part of the ServiceNow ecosystem since 2016. Before joining ServiceNow, I was a platform owner, admin, and developer at a customer. It's release time again. This quarter, we're launching our Xanadu family release. And today I walk you through the new features and enhancements for our workflow products. Quick reminder, today's session covers new features that are currently in early access. All further timelines and feature specifics may be sp subject to change. So please don't make any purchasing decisions based on anything I say today. Workflow Studio serves as a comprehensive interface for workflow automation, integrating Flow Designer, Process Automation Designer, and Decision Builder into a single platform. Updates to Workflow Studio and Playbook Experience are released on a quarterly basis through the ServiceNow store. Every family release also updates the store apps to the most recent store app prior to this family update. This means that you should check the application manager at least once after a family upgrade and update the store apps to get access to the latest features and fixes. Before we head into specific features for flows, playbooks, and decision tables, we'll go through some general enhancements. We're continually working on improving the builder and execution performance. And in this release, we've made changes to reduce the time to open and save workflow objects in Workflow Studio. Also new in Xanadu, additional control over read access to flow execution details with new read-only role options. In addition to the platform security co offering code signing, you can now sign and validate any flow, subflow, or action. You can now also manage access to your playbooks and playbook components better with feature access controls that you might already know from Flow Designer. We've also added new API methods to activate, deactivate, restart, or duplicate a playbook. And finally, a seem seemingly small update, but one that is making our developer lives much easier is the button next to the Workflow Studio tabs to create a new workflow object, no matter which tab you're currently looking at. A lot of the work we've been doing for flows, subflows, and actions is foundational, leading to an overall better performance, but also paving the way for features we plan to release later this year and in 2025. This means you'll see me mention fewer new features than usual today, but I'm sure we can make up for it in the next couple of releases and with great enhancements for the other workflow products today. With the previous Washington store release, NowAssist now has an improved interface for flow creation, allowing users to preview generated flows, modify the prompt, and rerun the flow generation before proceeding to the design interface with the outline that suits your use case best. Annotations are added to each step to explain which part of the prompt led to the addition of which actions, subflows, and flow logic. This feature enhances the user experience by simplifying the configuration process and providing helpful guidance. We've also added a new experience to create decision tables directly from a flow or subflow. A few quick guided steps help you set up the decision table inputs, from flow data builds and optionally defined decision table result columns. Next, you open the decision table in a new Workflow Studio tab to finish setting up the condition rows and result values. After publishing it, move back to your flow or subflow and proceed building with the decision table and inputs already set up and ready to go. Playbooks and playbook experience have seen big changes in the Washington Store releases and continue to evolve in the Xanadu release. Added in the previous store release, playbooks now support conditional branches with the new decision activity feature. Within a playbook stage, you can choose the diamond shape to add one or multiple decision branches. There will always be an else branch to catch any scenarios where none of the conditions match. You can also drag and drop to reorder the conditions as they will be executed top down with the option to stop checking after the first branch that is true 
or process any and all branches that are true. Just like flow generation, playbook generation now also has a preview and reprompt feature. This lets you modify the natural language prompt and regenerate the playbook before proceeding. Whether your playbook was generated by Now Assist or drafted by a business process owner, replacing placeholder activities will be the next step when developing a playbook. Inline recommendations help identify matching activity definitions or automation assets, which streamlines the authoring process and improves productivity. Based on the placeholder's title and description, Now Assist displays five activity recommendations to choose from. One of my favorite additions to Playbooks is the questionnaire activity. This feature replaces the collect user activity and offers vastly better experience. Gone are the days where we had to create endless flow data definitions and custom activities in the backend before being able to use the collected data in Playbook. With the questionnaire activity, we can easily define up to 10 questions or inputs for the process worker to answer, and we can then use those values for subsequent activities and conditional decision branches. Another new feature that synergizes nicely with conditional branches is a new out of the box activity to make a decision. This activity will return the first row that matches for a provided decision table after mapping playbook data fields to the decision table inputs on the automation tab. Use the decision table result values in subsequent steps or conditional branches for your playbook. Similar to flows, we've been investing a lot of work and resources into improvements under the hood of decision tables. Improving the performance and decision table administration for this and the next release. But we still have a few incredible new features to share with you today. When working on large decision tables, this feature will greatly enhance your experience. Column headers and row numbers will now be frozen in place when you scroll vertically or horizontally for decision tables that are larger than your browser window. This prevents getting lost when viewing or authoring decision rules. Another quality of life improvement is the new rank column at the front of any row. This allows decision authors to reorder rows by simply changing the rank number and confirming with return. Drag and drop reorder is still available, but it was not always easy to use when reordering rows and large decision tables. Type to reorder, solve this. And finally, what we already know from flows, subflows, and flow actions is now also available for decision tables. Check the overflow menu item to see related objects for your decision tables. Identify which flows or playbooks this decision table is referenced in to understand the impact of the changes you make. This concludes the review of new and enhanced features for workflow automation in the Xanadu release. Thank you for staying with me so far. Your feedback is invaluable. Please take a moment to fill out our survey or leave a comment on the community article to share your thoughts. And if you like this session, please upvote this video. If you're interested in other topics beyond workflows, let me recommend my colleagues' Academy series. Each of them covers a different part of the Now platform, including analytics, experiences, and artificial intelligence. While on the topic of more content, if you prefer to read up on topics at your own pace, check out the Workflow Automation Center of Excellence on the community. I've collected resources and links, and I'm regularly publishing new articles with best practices, FAQ, and guidance around flows, playbooks, and decision tables. Thank you for joining us today to learn about the latest in workflow automation. Your engagement and feedback help us improve, and we look forward to seeing you in future sessions. Until next time, bye.